the broader problem that you identified, David, of, of reduced American leverage is not about the choices that have been made here in Washington. It's about what's going on in the region and what's happening in Egypt. The decisions made by the Egyptian generals this year, the decisions made by the Brotherhood, uh, first to govern in a very um, troubling, uh, exclusion, exclusionary, and ham-handed manner, and then to fail to compromise uh, when presented with a, a mass uh, uprising against that style of governance, those choices are driven by, what's, by the political competition taking place in Egypt. And at this point, the Brotherhood and uh, the military feel that they are engaged in an existential struggle. The military uh, believes they had no choice but to carry out the coup uh, to protect their own interests and what they view as the stability of Egypt. That's what they see as it at stake. Uh, and the Brotherhood, of course, is now facing the wrath uh, of the military in a full-on crackdown and believe they're fighting for their organization's survival. Um, so I think in that context of existential threat on both sides, there is very little that any outside actor, even the United States, could do to affect things.